Today is day 12 and we're jumping into something that every manager dreads, the annual reviews. Well, I'm gonna show you today how AI can turn that kind of super mega stressful task into a breeze, ensuring your reviews are super clear. Check this out, very basic stuff. And we're gonna be able to track with every single thing your company needs and make sure these are personable and impactful. You ready to rock? I'm Camo. let's get you future proof, everybody. Quick reminder, if you haven't watched the series intro video, I highly recommend that you start there. Link is down below. Let's do what we always do. Let's start by thinking about what would a human need to execute this scenario we're talking about, okay? We need to write that end of your review. And you know what? Before we dive into that, a quick word of caution. What I'm about to show you today can help you be exceptionally lazy as a manager. Don't do that. On behalf of all your direct reports, put the effort into this. The thing about end of your reviews is that they tend to be exceptionally monotonous, especially if you have a very large team. You end up saying the same things anyway. This is going to help you with that so that you can spend the time that you would save going through the minutiae and the admin side of the house with actually putting the effort in to write a good review for your individual contributor or your team member. So let's dive into this. First and foremost, you need to understand what is the job. AI will need that almost more than anything because it's gonna be able to evaluate against what that job is and what feedback you give. You also might wanna add previous performance reviews because that will give not only examples and standards, i.e. giving it multiple shots here, not just chaining or doing zero shot, and performance data on the specific employee. What do you think about them? How have they been doing? And you can just voice to text this on your phone, totally, totally easy and doable. Just capture that in as much detail as you can. Then you're gonna need the frameworks. What does your HR team or your company give you that outlines what is the employee review process this year? And look, they might change it every single year, so that's why having the previous few years can be helpful. But what are the instructions? You've gotta feed that into AI. Okay, and then your personal voice guidance. I cannot stress this enough. We covered it a couple days ago. If you have not trained AI on how to speak like you, this is gonna sound like AI wrote it. I can't save you from the robots unless you put in the effort to save yourself. So go do that episode. Come back here and let's get ready to rock this. So now that we've got that in place, here's our flow. You're gonna take a prompt. I've got one, it's great. And you're gonna give it HR guidelines, the employee information and the JD and role info. But the most important thing, there's a reason there's a giant gold star in this one. Your thoughts are the most important piece. Even without any of the rest of this, you could just build a good prompt with your thoughts that would just get that end of your review or at least the topics that you need to talk about ready to go. So again, this is how we're gonna do it. And Every format's gonna be different. You need to customize this based on the documentation you provide to it. But for today, we're just gonna say, give me the key strengths and contributions. Give me the areas for improvement and do you, pro you recommend them for promotion? And what are their goals for next year gonna be? We're also gonna ask it to give uh, a one through five rating with a justification paragraph about the company's core values. Cause for some reason we all have to do that in corporate America. Okay, RG Coa, what is the prompt framework we're going with today? Be my executive performance review writer. Be an expert on being personal in that too and help me write a comprehensive, personalized end of your review. You're gonna hit the AI over the head with the word personal because you want it to take your feedback heavily. You're gonna give it HR information, the employee information, the job, and your thoughts. And you're gonna tell it to provide complete responses based on the instructions that you give it. It will figure this out. And as always, ask it for help in case you forget something. So let's take a look at how this is gonna go. So uh, we went through this format and you can kind of see what the output is gonna be. Here's the question one, question two, question three, but let's look over the documents real quick. I've got a draft HR policy. Yes, that AI helped me write for this example, but Horizon Innovations and what we've got is our core values, be bold, be client centric, blah, blah, blah. We've got three questions. Again, what are the team members key strengths? What do we need uh, areas for improvement and growth? And then what goals would you like to see? And then there's a bunch of extra fluff that it puts inside of here. We've also got, a project manager job description. We're gonna write a review for a random project manager here today. And this is the JD, sounds pretty simple. And then we finally have our thoughts. So this is employee performance data, including some historical stuff. Now, this is for Alex Rivera, who's a project manager. I had AI generate this, but just know, this is basically like the bullet points that you would have inside of your performance management system if you're using one. You don't need to use anything this comprehensive. You can just go walk your dog, hit the voice to text feature, or take an audio note and just capture your thoughts about the person and dump them in here. It will work, okay? So that's all the things that we have. And what we're gonna do is go into a new chat GPT window. I'm gonna use temporary for just a quick second. We're gonna upload some files, everybody. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that job description, the employee feedback, the HR review, and we're gonna add my specific voice guidance into this. 
and then we're going to run over and we're going to start looking at this prompt okay so again we're writing that end of year review and let me zoom in a little on this because that looks small to me all right so once more we're going to provide it with all the information that uh, all those documents that we just talked about you're going to be an ex executive performance review writer with expertise and meaningful feedback the goal write a comprehensive end of year review now look create responses to our standard review questions balance recognition with developmental suggestions ensure the review motivates continued growth we're going to be optimistic in an end of year review okay no matter what your thoughts are on end of year reviews be optimistic in an end of year review then we're going to come down here and here's a bunch of details now you can either manually type this in i've highlighted all this in yellow in your prompt document for this exact reason or you can just have it read the documents that you upload it depends on how you want this to work but this will work raw as it is right now too and then i've added in some basic stuff here i manually typed in the questions that we need to answer this is completely unnecessary i'm just showing you an example and uh i have some specific things that i like to see added to end of year reviews when i do them for employees specifically i want to be clear that these areas are not deficiencies in any way just ideas for how to improve other areas of the business where i feel this person could have an exceptional impact we never want to come over the top of people especially at end of review time and be like hey you've sucked for the last year and i would like to tell you why that's a bad idea that's not a good way to make friends and then i always end with i'm thankful every single day i get to work along this person retain reward and promote at the earliest opportunities this is a hangover from my uh military days where that was the end of every fitness report i wrote but i think these add a lot of gravitas and they're my unique style i have written no less than 50 end of year reviews with this format that you're seeing right here i promise it works and people like it because it gives good feedback based on my thoughts and i was able to do 20 of these in one afternoon just to give you a little benchmark on this okay so let's take this prompt we're going to grab the entirety of it all the way back up to the beginning of the roll we're going to copy that go back to our chat gpt window and we're just going to hit go nothing fancy that we got to do here it's going to read all those documents that we uploaded and as you can see it's going to come back and say hey here's your personalized thoughtful comprehensive performance review for alex and what's going to happen is what are their key strengths and how they contributed to success and it's going to write in my voice because i gave it instructions on how to do that exactly what alex has done and again it's taking all the details from what i've given it but you can zoom in on this if you want you can take a look at this just know it's pretty good i've run a few examples through this and again like i said i've used this in the real world many 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 times this works everybody and put the time and effort into collecting your thoughts that's the whole point of the end of your review process is what would you like to say to the person face to face or virtual to virtual whatever you're doing and as you can see this is giving me a lot of text i probably need to come back and say hey remember that 200 to 500 words i told you about this ain't it dog but that's okay ai gets off the rails every now and then it's gonna just go through and write this entire you know small novella about question one and that's moving on to question two i'm gonna let this run all right we covered a bunch of stuff there but let's talk about how to take this and take it more advanced First and foremost, customize this for your company. Make sure you don't just take my examples. Use your own internal HR documentation. It will make all the difference in the world. Uh, check this out, batch mode, right? You can put these thoughts and feedback into a CSV or a spreadsheet and just upload that inside of a custom GPT. Uh, and you can turn this into a very machine-driven process that outputs exceptionally good formats for you and gets it all done at once so that you just have to come in and do the last minute editing. Again, always read what it wrote. Human in the loop, supervise this stuff. Uh, also, if you are in a larger company, like one of the big hyperscalers or, you know, one that has thousands of uh, employees where you need to go through calibration, you can take the calibration feedback and push that against all the reviews that you've written. And it's a one-stop shop for you to go in five minutes and get all the calibration information that you need to show up on time to the calibration meetings. Those calibration meetings are like the worst thing ever. Everyone's just trying to get their people promoted. Um, so this is a way where you can put the effort into being in the room and evangelizing and negotiating and politicking instead of you know, creating the administrative nightmare that goes into that. Um, and you can connect this to your internal company goal tracker. I highly encourage you to do this if you're using anything internally to track performance of employees. Um, if you can't like get native API access to that, because you're probably not gonna be able to, just export it all as a CSV or PDFs of each employee and then just use that sanitizing the PII and any sensitive information and upload that along with this. It will work great. So there you have it. If you wanna dive a whole lot deeper into how this and many more things in AI work, check out Community with Camo or check out some of our online AI virtual live training sessions. Uh, next one starts here pretty soon, so check the websites. Links are all below. And if you've got comments, I want to hear about it. Please drop them down below. I'll answer every single one of them. And stay tuned for tomorrow, where we're going to cover deep research, the literal secret to becoming an expert on just about anything in the shortest amount of time. And it allows you to superpower the AI prompts that you create. This is a tool I use every single day. Can't wait to show it to you on day 13.